Let's face it, everyone has orgasms. But a small percentage of the population find it a hellish nightmare. These people suffer from sudden release syndrome, an often debilitating disease that strikes without warning. Studies have shown that sudden release syndrome, or SRS, affects the human body by keeping at a heightened state of sexual excitement. So much so that any stress can initiate or trigger a sudden orgasm. These episodes can start as a mild discomfort and can often flare up into severe orgasmic attacks. If you come into contact with someone who is suffering from a severe orgasmic attack, wait till they lose consciousness and then rifle through their pockets for loose change. There are many misconceptions with SRS. Some experts believe to effectively cure sudden release syndrome, smear yourself with vegetable oil and wrap yourself in cellophane. Still others believe that SRS is a symptom of a much larger problem. A deep-seated worry of trying to figure out what batshit stunt Alberta's gonna pull next. But scientific data confirms that toilet seats, holding hands, kissing, and Barry White's music can bring about severe orgasmic attacks. <laughs> Sudden Release Foundation is a non-profit organization dedicated to bringing an end to SRS. Over the past few years, they've brought together the world's greatest scientific minds, and then they killed them and ate their brains. Even these extreme measures have done little to halt the outbreak of SRS. Next to narrow-minded, neoconservative cronyism and political opportunism disguised as patriotism, Sudden release syndrome remains as virulent and rampant as Stephen Harper's arrogant complacency. <laughs> I urge everyone not to shun those who suffer from severe orgasmic attacks. At the very least, you can offer them a smoke. I'm Lindsay Sabrin, and thank you for your time. These pepper <laughs> Still others believe that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>